Johan, obviously you want to talk about rugby. Is there any problem concentrating on rugby at the moment or is, is it still business as usual here? No, it's business as usual. Obviously, we've got a job to do and um, not an easy job. If you look at Wasp performance, you know, quality team and um, therefore, you know, we have to know that we you know, have to up our game. Obviously, Richard Hibbard's announced that he's leaving. Bit of a shock to the fans. How much of a shock is that to you as, as the head coach? Yeah, again, you know, Richard is, is a, a, a player that puts his heart out on the field and, um, you know, a lot of experience, a lot of um, gaps that you one can rely on. We, sometimes these games are such that you need that experience. Um, but, you know, before he made the decision, he, you know, I appreciate the fact that he included me and came to me and, and, and shared his reasons why he's considering it. And obviously then he made the decision and we just want to, you know, I um, hope that it, it all goes well with him. I mean, it is. I was almost similar in a similar situation where I played in Italy at the age of 34, almost 35, and had one phone call asking to come and play for the Sharks and went back and then played at the age of 37 for the Springboks, you know. So um, he's going to have, he's 34. I w wish he can, you know, play for Wales um, because he's still got the, the, the qualities. And you've still got him here until the end of the season and the way he's conducted himself, no questions about his commitment. Oh no, you know, he's a, a warrior and a, 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 t a team guy and, um, you know, they know exactly what I m mean is that, you know, you've got a, a period at a place to make a difference and, and Richard's got that ability, you know, we're going to need him, obviously, in his next few months. To, to play his best rugby for us to, to, to go forward and, and he can share a lot of experience. You know, we've got young hookers in the in, in the squad that he can share a lot of experience and definitely, you know, this is a, a squad effort and he's still a, a big part of that. Back to the Premiership this week, you've kept the momentum going through back-to-back -back wins in Europe and I suppose actually you've won your last five, Wasps have won their last four, it's the two form teams in the league, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, credit to them, you know, they obviously, like you said, you know, they've really got back to the to the rugby, why they've been finalists and, 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 and top four constantly. Um, and like I said, I'm happy the fact that we got a bit of momentum and, and, and kept winning, but I don't want to repeat myself, but we haven't achieved anything yet. You know, there's massive games and nothing more than, the, you know, playing Wasp at home. Um, so... Um, at their home, so it's going to be massive. But uh, you know, we're confident, and we're going to prepare as well as we can. And at the end of the day, you know, like I said numerous times as well, we will have to look at ourselves and 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 play to our standards and the way we want to play. And everybody have to give that uh, that that bit to the team, and hopefully, we the result will look after itself. And do you feel that message is steadily getting through better and better to the players? Because you've gone to places you haven't had great records in the past, like Bath, and you've won there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Bath and Newcastle was things we can tap in and say, you know, it is possible. Um, Zebra away, although it wasn't pretty, you know, we, we, we really didn't play particularly well in that game. But saying that, you know, um, hopefully the, the players can get confidence out of that. And again, like I said, you know, on the day, that it, it's so small margins uh, between winning and losing and, and, and we must, must just make give it our best effort. You know, I'll never fault players if they go out there put in a hard effort and, um, and and we can walk away um, regardless of the result. You've climbed up to second in the table. Are you there now a little bit to be shot at, if you like, you know, being chased rather than chasing? There's pros and cons. Um, obviously, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're chasing the pack, you, you've got a different pressure. And if you're on top of the pack, you, you've got different pressure. And, 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 and exactly what you say is that you know, teams will come at you and teams will, you know, want to knock you off. But again, you know, um, the likes of Exeter, Saracens, Wasp, uh, all those top sides have, is, 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 is um, receiving the same pressure. You know, they've been there for years and set the tone. And, and it's for us to, you know, again, focus on ourselves, make sure that we don't change anything drastically. Um, yes, we have to be more accurate because teams is, is going to come for you. And are the players embracing that you know position that they're at in the table and, and feeling comfortable with actually yeah we can be a top four side i hope so you know we it's not something that we discuss it's not something that we focus on we don't focus on the table itself we don't try and pick games and make presumptions of where you want to be after this week and that week the focus is just what must we fix after saturday 
on a Monday and where must we improve and then obviously start implementing a plan on, on the next opposition and then into the next week and the next week. Um, so I hope that, you know, the players, but like I said, you know, it's it boils down to a collective effort, team effort and doing, doing each individual bringing his part. Did I notice the injury list last week? It looks a little bit shorter than it has done in, in recent weeks. Is that trend continuing? Yeah, it's great. You know, we, we, I think if you count, you know, the uh, one or two uh, academy players in, we, we from 20 to about 11, 10 guys, and and hopefully by next week, that will come down when the likes of Jason Woodward and and those guys are also will be able, hopefully, be able for selection. Um, unfortunately, this morning um, Ben Morgan was was clear to train, but he still felt his calf a little bit. So he's obviously that means not available for this week. We hope it's not too bad. Otherwise, he would have been back. Um, Fraser Balmain is really tracking well um, on his rehab, so hopefully we'll see him soon. But you know, again, Tom Marshall, all those guys are are fit, and it's nice to really you know uh, get some of those those names back. But then again, you know, the squad has really done well. Um, considering the amount of injuries. And none of the players who were involved on Saturday against Zebra are missing this weekend? Um, no, I mean, obviously there's a, a few niggles uh, that we've got, you know, and, and guys that we're monitoring t t t still, but uh, at this stage it looks like everybody uh, will be ready come Thursday, Friday when we want to mm -hmm. announce the team.